I am Metho Tasky, mother of, Tecumseh, the panther in the sky, and the greatest man to ever live in Ohio. We are Shawnee native people. Tecumseh was born near Chillicothe, I think, in our lives. We moved to the Ohio country, and lived, and traded furs with the French, but the English started moving to Ohio, that was bad, we kinda liked the French, you can see here that after the French and Indian War, the English, or British, as you call them, took all this land from the French, and the peaceful trade we once knew, was over, for a little while, things didn't look so bad, the British made the proclamation of 1763, it forbid their colonists from moving to Ohio, we thought we were safe from them, then, an awful thing happened, the American colonists declared independence, from Britain. After they were free, they started moving to Ohio, oh no, that's very, very, very bad news. Some of our tribal leaders, like Little Turtle, and Blue Jacket, fought to resist the flood of Americans moving to Ohio, including here at Fallen Timbers but we lost, this monument, where the Battle of Fallen Timbers took place, honors the different Indian tribes that fought. This man is an imposter, he is not a Crow Indian. Leave now, poser, these maps tell the story of the Battle of Fallen Timbers, and the sad day we native people lost our land. The next year the Treaty of Greenville, gave our land to the Americans, you can see here the Treaty of Greenville line. We Indians agreed to give up most of our land in Ohio. We had to live, in just this northwest corner of Ohio. Would it surprise you to learn, that this corner of Ohio was mostly flat and swampy, back then? Yeah, they let us live in just the worst part of Ohio, then they wanted it, too. My son, the panther in the sky, the great Tecumseh, thought, this treaty was bad, for Indians, and that, we needed to fight to keep our land. Here is my son, Tecumseh, the panther in the sky, the greatest man, to ever live in Ohio. He fought at the Battle of Fallen Timbers, as a young man, Tecumseh, hoped to unite all the Indian tribes, to fight back against the Americans, who were coming to Ohio in greater and greater numbers. Tecumseh told his brother, the prophet, not to attack General Harrison, at Tippecanoe Creek because we Indians were not strong enough yet, to win. His brother did not listen, this is my son, the open door, also called, the prophet. He had visions. He believed the Indians could defeat Harrison without Tecumseh and more Indians. His visions were wrong, Tecumseh's dream of uniting the Indians died at Tippy Canoe. He decided to make an alliance with the British. He hoped they would help us drive the Americans from our land, here he is again, that poser who thinks, he is a Crow Indian. He is not strong enough, to be Crow. I think he is one of General Harrison's men. Take that, poser. This is Fort Meigs, behind us, General Harrison, and this phony Indian, and his other men, fought here against my son, Tecumseh, and the British. We lost this battle, sadly. This sign says most Americans believe the British were supplying us with guns and ammo to fight the Americans, and they did a little bit, but we mostly just wanted peace. A couple months after Tecumseh and the British failed to capture Fort Meigs, they were also defeated at the siege of Fort Stevenson. The British officers were just not very good. About a month after Tecumseh lost at Fort Stevenson, this guy showed up again. General Harrison must have sent him with orders to Captain Oliver Hazard Perry, Captain Perry, this guy with the shades, and the Americans defeated the British in the Battle of Lake Erie. With no boats left to transport guns to us, we Indians were out of ammo. Oliver Hazard Perry sent the famous message back to General Harrison, we have met the enemy, and they are ours. For us Indians, it was time to leave Ohio for good. Sad, sad. Sad, my son, Tecumseh, the panther in the sky, died a month later, at the Battle of the Thames, against General Harrison, his lifelong adversary, Tecumseh dreamed of uniting the Indians, he said, a single twig breaks, but the bundle of twigs is strong. He was the greatest man, to ever live, in Ohio.